Oh, and as he asked for the gamers, my name is said, how are you guys doing today? Yeah, I do have another banger video for you, and this time it is about a new secondary weapon called Kandare, or however that's pronounced. Either way, it's a very cool weapon, and it gives you ninja vibes. You love the idea of infinite blades? Me too. Alright, you're moving on to the main part of the video, the build for Cantare, or as I named it, the main event. Before giving you a very quick guide on the build, uh, let me introduce you to the unique trait. Cantare's blades have a 300% critical chance when they return upon reload. So basically what you have to do, you just have to hit the enemy with your blades, and uh, once you reload, they come back to your uh, magazine. So um, that's how you trigger that uh, critical chance. Strike enemies with uh, returning blades to activate Kantari's Kotel, a buff that increases reload speed by 20% for allies. So you also have a an additional reload speed, which is very nice. Okay, we're gonna speedrun this like you've never seen before. Damage, critical damage, critical chance, status, because we're going to go for corrosive, as we also have viral or nourish, lethal torrent, um, multi-shot, of course, and even more multi-shot and kill. Galvan has trapped for a status chance, and of course, since we're hitting the enemy directly, we also get a little bit more damage out of it. Um, I used to have Magnum Force um, in this uh, setup before, but I changed it to Galvanized Shot, because I think it's better. And of course, Primed Convulsion to have that a juicy amount of electricity. We can also go for Lethal Momentum to have increased uh, projectile speed, and a Secondary Deadhead, since we're all about building um, crit. You can get even more crit and also a headshot multiplier and a little bit less recoil, which is never too bad if you're aiming with those shurikens. That was that was cringe. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Want to boost the damage even further? There's three things that you can do. First of all, you can infuse Nurge as an ability on your Warframe. Second thing you can do, you can equip those green emerald archon shots to fully strip armor. For the other shots, you can literally go for whatever you want to, however, I always use the yellow Archon shot, as this provides casting speed, which is very nice. Um, for the other two, you can go with the uh, red crimson shot, that provides um, critical chance on secondary weapons. Also, arcanes and mods. You can go for arcane precision for additional damage on headshot, and arcane velocity for that very beautiful fire rate. Also, um, I mean, this is a little bit different from my normal build. This is what I'm usually going for. It's basically the same. Just here I have Mesmer skin. Um, I decided to go for vigorous swap, as on equip you have 165% damage for 3 seconds. So um, yeah, basically swap weapons and you have a bunch of more damage. Well, let me show you its true potential. Also, they added some new simulacrums, so if you go to different factions, like the Arbiters of Hexes or the Cephalon Suda, Steel Meridian, etc., you do have new simulacrums that you can buy. This time, we're gonna head to the Oricon Derelict Simulacrum. Let's go. Certainly looks interesting. Hideoki, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna spawn 20 of them corrupted heavy gunners, of course, on Steel Path. Well, this does look interesting, not gonna lie. Okay, so what we're gonna do, also keep in mind, uh, I don't know if you know this, but we do have a crit buff from our Kavat, so that doesn't count, obviously, but if you just hit him in the face, um, it's gonna, like, pretty fast. You can see the, the critical damage coming in handy super much. Um, I wish I could actually, like, showcase the damage of the bounce back, like, when, when it returns to the magazine. We just have to wait until well, the crit buff is gone. Apparently, that's very nice. We do have our, our arcane precision. So as you can see, we're already doing a lot of damage. So we can enhance that by putting in Thrall onto this enemy. Um, pretty ridiculous. Oh, there you saw it. A little bit of bounce back. Not bad. We still don't have Nurge activated, so we're gonna do that. And you should be able to see some ridiculous amount of damage. But we don't have orange numbers anymore. Fair enough. But, I mean, there we go. That was a good example. No, we're just hitting, slicing and dicing, and they're gonna die by red crits. So that's it's very satisfying, dude. I feel like you always have to hit the last blade. If you don't hit the last blade, you're not gonna do the red crits. For example, you can aim away like two times, but you have to hit the last one. And you should be able to see the last crit. It's, I don't know. It's kind of like weird. Maybe, maybe it's bugged. I, I can't really tell, but... Either way, super strong, dude. As you can see, we, we didn't even have to inflict that pullback damage, or the reload damage rather, but like it's ridiculous, if you aim for the head, the damage you're gonna do, dude, like, it's it's off the chain, man, like, in Thrall, 
just refresh and urge, just in case. And, I mean, look, you don't even have to do that much. It's it's pretty sick. It, it's, it's so strong. And, I mean, we also have um, the green emerald Archon shots to strip armor. We don't even get to the armor stripping part. <laughs> That's how fast they're dying. It's actually hilarious. Yeah. This weapon is so much fun, dude. I love it. It's great. That's gonna do it for this video. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you awesome people in the next one.